Alright, so if you're watching this, I would assume that means MSI Afterburner is showing that your CPU is 207 degrees. It's not right. So, um, I guess I'll demonstrate. So, let's boot up Borderlands. Okay, so if you look in the top left-hand corner, you will see that it says my CPU is 207 degrees. Uh, that's not exactly accurate. So, we're going to fix that. All right, so to fix this issue, you're going to go in the description. You're going to see H... Jesus Christ. You're going to see HW info. You're going to click the green free download button. Click this. And then do the installer. After you install it, it's going to bring up some settings. So we're going to go here. These are the settings it's going to bring up. You can copy my settings if you want. I just have it so it's going to automatically update, automatically start. When I close it, it's going to minimize itself. Please make sure you turn on shared memory support. If you're going to be playing for more than 12 hours, you will have to come here and manually put it on again. Unless you want to buy the Pro version uh, because th that's a thing for some reason. Um, yeah, so just make, put everything the way I have it if you want. And but just make sure you put on shared memory support and that's very important. Gonna go to MSI Afterburner, gonna go to monitoring monitoring, and then you're gonna go here. Now we're gonna go to hw.info, make sure this is checked. And then uh CPU DL out, yeah, make sure that's checked as well. And then setup. Now, if you come here, you will notice one thing. If you look at CPU temperature. It's not giving you, it's not giving MSI Afterburner the CPU temperature as it should. This is because it's called something different in the HW Info application. So therefore it's not giving the information as CPU temperature because there's a couple different things that it has as the CPU temperature. So we're gonna go to add. We're gonna scroll down till we see, there it is. So these are the three ones. I like to do the average temperature unless you want, I don't know what the fuck this is. I just I just want the average one. I'm pretty sure any of these are fine. It's only like a couple degrees difference. So if you want, you can go ahead and use this one. It doesn't really matter. So whichever one you want, just hit the check mark on, hit okay. And it's gonna add it to the bottom here. I'm actually gonna remove that because I already have it. You're gonna hit okay. Hit okay. And now the reason why it's showing you as having 207 fucking degrees is because if you go to CPU temperature, it's getting its information from the CPU.dll and I'm, I'm going to assume that there's some issue with that. I don't know how to fix that. So this is a way I found to do it and it works the same and it's also more accurate, but I'm just, that's why it's doing that because it's under CPU.dll. You're going to turn that off. We're not going to use that. We're going to use something different. We added the CPU die, so all the way at the bottom. It should be here. The data provider should be HW info. And then if you click here, it's going to show you know, the type should be temperature. And the name, you can change it if you want. It doesn't really matter. The type is going to be CPU temperature. And then at the bottom, this is going to be blank. You're going to type in CPU all caps. And then show an all screen display okay and then that should fix your issue make sure you disable the cpu temperature one so that way it's it's not showing that your cpu is 207 degrees now it should be showing it completely accurately there we go now it's saying it's 50 40 degrees 33 it's a little jumpy but you get the point. There you go. That's how you fix it nice and easy. If you have any questions, comment it. All right. Now, see ya.